Hello, my name is Nathan Dorn. I'm the curator of the Rare Books Collection of the Law Library of Congress. What I'd like to do today is to talk about a recent addition to the Law Library's Rare Books Collection. This is a remarkable 15th century manuscript of a work on the laws of combat for knights called L'Arbre de Bataille, the Tree of Battles, by the Provençal author Honora Beauvais. The book's author was born around the year 1350 to a family in the town of Valerne in Provence. A doctor of canon law trained at the University of Avignon, Beauvais received a pension from the French king Charles VI, who employed him in diplomatic affairs. Beauvais was a scholar of law, but he chose to write this book for an audience of non-specialists, which in this case meant knights and heralds, people who were apt to find themselves in combat and who needed an accessible reference work for the legal questions that came up for them in the field of battle. This work is divided into four books. In the first two books, Beauvais offers an overview of history based in part on the Book of Revelation and in part on Paulus Erosius Historiarum Adversum Paganus Libri Septum, which was a narrative history of Greek and Roman antiquity that was popular in Western Europe in the Middle Ages. The third and fourth book, which make up about three quarters of the whole work, discuss questions that relate to battle. There, Beauvais brings up legal and moral principles, issues of strategy and efficacy versus custom and virtue. He touches on the rules governing coats of arms and trial by combat. He relates to various practical aspects of war, including compensation for combatants, ransom, and relations with non-combatants. He's one of the earlier voices of compassion for non-combatants and outrage at knights who do harm to peasants. These topics are organized into 140 short scholastic style questions and answers that present his analysis in an easy to grasp form. The work was very popular. There are over 90 manuscripts of it that survive in collections throughout the world. The law library owns one additional 15th century manuscript copy of it. It was adapted in other works by medieval authors, such as the poet Christine de Pizan, and it was often translated with a translation prepared in Scotland as early as the year 1456. This manuscript was most likely produced in Northern France around the year 1479. The binding, which is from the 18th century, is brown calf over pasteboard. The manuscript once belonged to Sir Thomas Phillips and still has on its spine the small paper label with the number Phillips assigned to it. There's an impressive miniature on the verso of the second folio, which depicts l'arbre de douleur, or the tree of suffering, an image that Beauvais touches upon in his work. It's a tree with several layers of branches in which various scenes and actors appear in each layer. At the top appears the figure of fortune and her wheel. In the upper branches, the ecclesiastical leadership can be seen at the left and the secular rulers at the right. The second level shows a battle of mounted soldiers. At the lowest level, Knights fight with axes on the left and soldiers hassle peasants on the right. As a reminder, rare book service is available at the Law Library on weekdays by appointment. We hope to hear from you. Thank you.